So here we have a completed Bartling MTU contour. Seven millimeter barrel in uh, eight twist. Chambered in seven Remington short action ultra magnum. This is for a Savage Model 10. Now, most people familiar with Savages know all about this, this thing here, the barrel nut. So on factory Savages, you have a threaded barrel, you know, fit and chambered for whatever cartridge, and then they just thread the thing extra, extra long, slap this barrel nut on there, and then the monkeys at the factory can screw this into the receiver with a go gauge in there, and they'll screw the action on until the closed bolt stops on the go gauge. They'll cinch all this down, tighten it up, ridiculously tight for that matter. That's why this is all marred up, side note. And as long as it doesn't close on the no-go gauge and it doesn't come loose, we're good. Uh, but the problem is you're left with this just horrible, I don't know, this, maybe it's just me, but I've always thought these just look really bad. You always, you can tell a savage from a mile away because it's got this hideous barrel nut on it. Well, here at Accurate Rifles and Restorations, we don't, we don't do prefits, we don't do barrel nuts. We do barrel blanks and we machine them precisely, accurately, and incredibly tight tolerances. Come on. So there we have a 5 8 24 thread for, I believe this is for an uh, EC tuner, <clears throat> Eric Cortina, EC tuner. They uh, can't say enough good things about those tuner brakes. I've installed several of them for several customers and it's like magic. It just, it takes an already accurate rifle, something like this, and just squeezes every last bit out of it. But this is not about the EC tuner. This is about showcasing again, another, just a, just a service that we provide. So if you own a Savage Model 10, Model 110, Model 11, 111, Model 11, 112, there's a whole bunch of savages. They're basically the same thing, just with a different number designation on it. Um, we, can, uh, we can replace your barrel with a proper barrel blank. Fit and chambered to the specified cartridge that you would like uh, with minimal headspace, minimal tolerances, and uh, basically just the best fit because we're fitting this to your action. We're not just cutting this at one inch. You know, the old barrel, this is kind of funny too. The old barrel here measures 1.111, essentially. Well, the nominal diameter for, the, for this Model 10 is 1.125, or one inch and one eighth by 20. Well, you can see how sloppy that is. You know, we're under it by, you know, I'm squeezing the calipers to get it the smallest reading here, but what's that, nah, eight thousandths? So eight thousandths small, right? So again, they're doing this so, it, so every barrel they make fits every single receiver. So there's no fitting required or anything like that. They can just slap them together, put them in a box, ship them out to the distributors and sell them. Whereas mine or ours, is right there at 1.125. I gave it like a half thousands clearance, so it's, it's technically, if I had a micrometer, it'd be 1.1245. Again, just, just saying, you know, when you have a gunsmith like me do this for you, it's gonna be correct. It's gonna be two specification, Minimal tolerances, minimal headspace, minimal everything, uh, equating to a superior rifle. So, where's that action?
There it is. Savages have a recoil lug, just like any other. And these are, I think, one or three sixteenths. Yeah, three sixteenths inch thick, and they have this nifty little alignment. It's not really a pin, like a, a nub, but it is handy, um, especially with savages, because guys will they use these for switch barrel rigs, right? So a guy just can go buy a savage barrel nut wrench and have a whole bunch of different uh, barrels and just take it off, put new one on, go to the town. Now that being said, that is the nice thing about it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna poo poo on that part of it. It's it is you know that's great. Reality in real world, I don't know how many guys really do that. Um, I actually don't know anybody personally that does that, um, especially with a savage. I mean, you're not really going to use this for like utmost accuracy, match grade um, gun. You know, the bench rest guys are not using these. F class guys are certainly not using these. These are uh, they're good actions. Don't get me wrong. They've got their benefits. They've got cool features that others don't. Floating bullhead for one. That's that's actually kind of kind of cool. Kind of forces the bolt to to have perfect contact with the logs in the back. Uh, that being said, they are also very sloppy in their their tolerances and things. But anyway, uh, we'll get this in a vise. We'll torque it down. We'll check head space. We'll make sure all that works. Just to show you, this is now um, just a, a torque shouldered barrel, just like any other. You know, well, except savages and. The modern ones nowadays with the barrel nuts on them. Again, if you don't like the barrel nut, give us a call or send us an email or whatever. Um, we can talk. It's really not extremely a whole lot more expensive than buying a prefit. And you know, someone like me is, is going to chamber this, checking things every step of the way, making sure we're not getting too sloppy. So, you know, the, the log's going to go. And this too. It's a very snug fit here for the log. And I've provided a tiny little shelf for it to sit on there. So the threads don't go all the way to the shank. They stop here short uh, to allow that lug to have a little seat. And you can tell there's no jiggling or there's no rattling. So it's not, it's not loose. Now it's loose this way. It's obviously got to spin a little bit. But uh, in terms of that, it's fine. So then... Just like any other action, got to get it started here. And it's just going to screw right on. And same thing too, like I showed you with the measurement, this is actually the proper size for this particular thread tenon, not eight thousandths under. Okay, so we'll just allow that recoil lug to Go all the way to the torque shoulder before we torque it in the vise. Okay, we'll get this set up in the vise, be right back and do a headspace check and just show you that portion of it. <clears throat> okay, we got the barrel and the barrel vise. The action is lightly, snugly screwed on by hand. And now we're going to torque it on for reels. So we're going to go to, usually I start about 75. So 75 foot-pounds, probably not going to be able to see that, whatever, trust me, 75 foot-pounds. Get that engaged. Oh, by the way, Short Action Customs, again, with the Short Action Customs wrench, this works for savages. I didn't know that, that's cool. Well, at least it fits in there, and I had to swap out for the shorter bumper. Uh, but it fits in there with uh, the same amount of clearances as you'd see with uh, Remington I we're gonna try it if it breaks then it breaks but uh, I believe that's gonna work so anyway we're gonna give a good little yark here there's 75 and we're gonna check it with our go gauge Chamber's clean, cleaned out the bore real well. And then, boom, baby. So it closes on that with absolute no slop or play in it. And 
And so I guarantee you a little piece of tape on the back that's not going to close. All right, there you go. A Savage with a brand new Bartlian MTU 7 millimeter 8 twist barrel. 5H24 threads on the end. And no barrel nut. Doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look sharp? So here's the old, here's the old barrel, hideous barrel nut, I factory barrel. <laughs> so you, it's either going to shoot well or not, most cases not. Um, we have one source of torquing instead of two. And like I said, does, doesn't that just look better? You know, it looks good. Looks like a real rifle. <laughs> I'm poo pooing on Savage. They're fine rifles. I own one. Come on. Of course, it doesn't have a barrel nut on it, but. <laughs> so, if you would like your Savage to be re barreled in a match grade barrel blank and fit and chambered by a professional, that specializes in accuracy and, and highly, highly accurate uh, rifles, you know where to go. Contacts in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. As always, like the video if you like it. Thumbs up. Or is that down? Thumbs up. Or down. Give me a thumbs down. I don't care. Leave a comment. If you think you uh, know better, that's cool. Go ahead and tell us. And uh, if you like what you see, uh, there's contact information in the description below. You can find our website information. And uh, subscribe. That's the, other, that's the other part of this. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing here. There's going to be... We upload once a week and try to film things that are very interesting. So without blabbering on like I tend to do, I'm going to wrap this one up. So again, thank you very much. See you on the next one.
So um, just got done with the chambering reamer. And here's our gauge. Uh, this is in uh, seven Remington short action ultra mag. <clears throat> so over here we have a go gauge for that. And then we'll just go ahead and screw this on. No barrel nut required. So we got to get that little nub right there as we go all the way on. So we don't want any binding or false readings there. And then I'm going to give it a good tight. Okay, so gauge is in the chamber. Here's our bolt. Gets over the extractor and closes. All right. <clears throat> So that guy's in headspace, and uh, again, no barrel nut required. This is a torque shoulder, so a traditional bolt action barrel, and no ghastly, ugly, um, very amateur barrel nut needed here. All right, here we are with a piece of tape on the back of the gauge. This is going to simulate two extra thousandths, which will simulate a no-go gauge in a tight chamber. So. Oops, can't see that, can you? The bolt is not going down, and I can't even really make it go down, which is telling us we are right there within headspace. Peel that off. Back in, and it closes. <clears throat> so there you go. No barrel nut required. We've got a nice Bartley and barrel, professionally chambered to a Savage 10. <clears throat> so those of you that think you need a barrel nut for these, you don't. So if you've got a Savage, you need to rebarrel, and you don't want that ghastly, ugly, amateur barrel nut on there, get a hold of us. We'll uh, talk about chambering a barrel blank for you. <clears throat>